How are you guys doing? This is Ryan and Miles. Miles, say hi. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of a Tesla Model 3. I purchased this car back in November, so we've had it for four months now. So it's my four month review. So me and Miles are going to tell you things that we like about the car and some things that you should consider when buying it, both pros and cons. Okay, Miles? Okay. <laughs> so do you have some good things you want to tell people about what you like about the Tesla and what you don't like about the Tesla, okay? Okay. All right, let's get to it. Now here she is, we bought the base model. I pretty much got everything standard on the car except I did buy full self-driving. And I made a separate video about self-driving so I'll link that in the description below and I'll, I'll put it up here as well in case you're looking at buying the full self-upgraded option. So in this video I just want to kind of talk about basic features of the car, what it's like to own an electric car, and specifically a Tesla. So I'll take you around the car, we'll, we'll do some basic features and things you should be prepared of if you're not used to driving a Tesla if you're coming from another car and if you're trying to decide if this is the right car for you to buy. So the first thing I really want to talk about when you get the car, the car really relies on your phone to synchronize with it. You download a Tesla app, you can see right there, and when you click the Tesla app, it's, it's your key and it has a lot of other services on there for you. You're really going to rely on the Bluetooth from your phone. And my wife sometimes thinks that it lags a little bit to recognize your key. But for me, I've never really had an issue with it. When you get close to the car, it'll automatically unlock. You don't need to unlock it or lock it. Yeah. It just realizes how far away the Bluetooth is and it makes a decision from there. Some other features on the app are... You can control the radio, there's your key, you can control the climate in there. You can operate controls here, you can honk the car, you can open your trunk and also your frunk. You can put the car in valet mode and what valet mode is, if you were to take the car to a valet service and you don't want them to drive really fast, you could do that. You could turn on sentry mode which will record everything around the car in case if anyone were to do something bad to it or if you, if you want to document a crime. And it has things like summon your car, which this is a self-driving feature, which again, you can view my other video to learn more about self-driving. Another really important thing to do is check on your charging. So I have 174 miles charged. You don't ever want to fully self-charge your Tesla unless you're on a uh, road trip. That You can move this bar here to, to go more, but I just leave it there for just daily driving. And I plug the car in every night when I go to bed and I'll talk about that more in just a second. But here you can check out the charging network around you and you can check out how many superchargers are available. But to talk about charging more, you don't really need to use the supercharger that often and I don't think it's really good for the battery to really cook the battery that fast. I just plug in my Tesla at night and I set it to, to start charging after 10 p.m. Because in most areas after 10 p.m. is what's called off-peak charging. So what that means is it charges you much less in electricity. This car costs me about $25 a month to charge. I use the Tesla charging network when I go on road trips and I need to charge the car along the way. And that's a good time to use it. And it takes the car roughly just over 30 minutes to go from zero charge to fully charge. So you just drop the car off, grab some lunch, and you come back out and you got a fully charged car, which is pretty cool. So if you're actually looking to purchase a Tesla, I have linked in the description below my referral code that will allow you to get 1,000 miles of free charging. You can't get free charging unless you use someone else's referral code. So feel free to use that in the description below. Disclosure, I will also get 1,000 miles of free charging. So if you're coming over from gas, it only takes about five minutes to charge. This is a little bit different, but the charging network is strategically put into places that have restaurants and gas stations and things like that that you need around it. So again, I bought the super base model with the only upgrade of full self-driving. If you want the car to go really, really fast, you can upgrade your Tesla Model 3 to the performance model, but this car is really fast. <laughs> it goes zero to 60 in just over five seconds, which is faster yeah, than I need have, to go. It has some games too. I have the games. You can also buy long range driving, which looking back, if I were to do one thing different, I might have gotten that just because it's nice to have, because the battery will lose the ability to charge longer over time. So mine goes about 250 miles, but when I fully charge, it really only goes like 240 now. I don't really drive 240 miles in a day, and I just plug in the car at night, and I wake up with a full charge, and I'm good to go for the day. So it's not really that big of an inconvenience, but if you don't mind spending the extra money on long range, you don't need it, but it's nice to have. 
So this is my son Miles. Miles, say hi. Hi. Miles loves the Tesla. And I did bring him here because he actually will review some things he really likes about it. I, I really like the racing. I he, wanna do it. So the car only has two buttons. These two buttons on the steering wheel. These two here. Everything else is controlled on this one screen here. It's a very minimalistic car. You, you control the you know the air here, you can turn it up here, you can point the air in different directions, right Miles? Yeah. That's controlled here. You got your seat warmers on the screen here. Then you have your, your music, all, all of this. You can connect your phone. But what Miles really enjoys is, is a game called Beach Buggy Racing. They get so you guys to use it. <laughs> yeah, Miles, we're gonna show them how to use it. So my son loves this game. We play this game about every night before we yeah, go to bed. Yeah, we'll do And it. it's, it's a Tesla themed like Mario Kart it. game. And I'll show you yeah. this just because he loves playing this game so much. Yeah, it is too. Okay, so here I'll set up the camera here, Miles, and we'll do one race. Like we'll be back in just a second. We'll see if I can win. Okay, one race for me. I'm gonna do a race. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Let's go. Okay, okay, so I came in third place, it looks like. <laughs> How you doing there, Miles? Yeah. Is he going to take it? And guys, I'm going over it. This car has several features, and that's one of the coolest things about Tesla. Uh, if you have extra questions about the car, let me know in the comment section below. Overall, I have to say, we really do love the car. It's a sedan, and we, I have a family of four. Me, my wife, my son, and my daughter. My son's car seat's back here. My daughter, her seat's here. She's only two months old, so she's still in the in the stroller, and the stroller connects to there, which is really helpful. So this way we have plenty of storage, both in our trunk and our frunk, to put different various items and food and groceries and all that. So if you're a family of four, this car definitely can work for you. And that was a big decision. I was gonna wait to get the Model Y, but I did like the price point on the Model 3. I can still get the tax credit, and so far it's been great. It's honestly been a great car. So the car has some other kind of cool, goofy features, which we'll show here. Miles, you want to show them some other things that are inside here? Yeah. Why don't, why don't you show them? What's, what, this is called like the Magic Box. They got different kinds of goofy yeah, yes. games. This well, is. this is, you can go look at Mars if you know the owner, Elon Musk, is uh, trying this to conquer is. Mars. Mm -hmm. Miles, show them some of the other things. This one? Who what does this one do? Mm. <laughs> this <guy. laughs> <laughs> That's where sister sits. So Elon has a sense of humor for sure with different things like this. <laughs> you can have your turn signals do the farting. So, <laughs> so different goofy things like that the car has. So I'm gonna take you around the car, show you some features on the outside that are a little bit different. As I go to go outside the car, everyone gets confused on how to open the door handle because there's not really a door handle here. You just press this button and that opens the door. Now, there is an override down here. You can pull that up. Now that's an override in case there's some battery issue. You can't get out of the car for safety purposes and you're relying on an electronic button. That may be more convenient, but not always safer. So that's something important to look at. So something else Miles wants to show you is the car has this kind of going on a date feature where you can start a fire, a little log fire. Miles, yeah. show them the fire. Okay. I'm gonna turn on the fire. There's a little coin the way you waste. Turn, yeah, turn on the fire. Yeah. So here we go. It actually warms up the air a little bit, and it plays a little. Uh, Miles, when you take your girlfriend on a date, you can uh, take her on the Tesla. <laughs> yeah. A long time from now. So something else I want to show you guys the the uh, the visor here has a cool like iPhone cover case thing that you can come over here yeah. and just it's very simplistic rolls yeah, up. Yeah. Everything about the car is pretty minimalistic. Even the little light buttons in here, if I want to turn on the light, I just press these buttons. There's a little bit of light. I would definitely say minimalism is like the theme of the car. One other thing before I leave the car, it's pretty cool. The entire roof is glass all the way back. All the way back. Let me show you guys more things on the test. Maya's gonna show you more things here in a little bit, but Maya's, I wanna show them how the door handles work. Tesla is known for having very different door handles. The yeah. Model 3 and Model Y change from the Model S to Model X. Just go and show you. 
And I think this is important to cover because it's, it's just another thing. When people walk up to the car, they're kind of confused. As the door handle is very different, it's flush with the car. So when people walk up to it to try to open the car, they're kind of confused. So when you come over to the car, you push in the big oh, part here it. and you pull it out. <laughs> Sorry, Miles wants to do it. Miles, show him how to do it. No, this one. Here, he'll show you how to do this one. Okay, this one opens <laughs> Okay. See, sometimes the car doesn't always pick up the Bluetooth. It'll take a second and then it'll pick it up. Uh, another thing to consider here, here are the standard wheels that come. Me and my wife liked them. We thought they were very different. And underneath them, there's the actual like regular kind of yeah. rim. This actually helps make the car more aerodynamic, which sounds pretty cool to me. Some people don't like these at all, but some people really do. They're just, they're just different. All right, Miles, let's show them the trunk. So here's the trunk. So it's pretty spacious. If you look around here, sorry, it's a little dirty. We cleaned out the front of it. Miles, uh, let's show them. Let's show them how deep it is in here. Yeah, it's so deep. Here, I'll, I'll show them. You want to step back? Yeah, I'm gonna, I gotta lift it up here. So this is how deep it is under here. My uh, wife has her backpack. But then Tesla has extra charging supplies in here. If you're at different kinds of chargers, it actually gives you different kinds of outlets to connect to. Um, and things that you'll just need to set up your charger at home, which I actually I had an electrician install a dryer plug And it cost me hundred and fifty dollars to run the wire in my garage So it wasn't a very expensive process to make my uh, my house charging for full self-driving Oh, Let's put that back in there for mommy So we're gonna go check out now one of the more unique things about Tesla because we don't have an engine and the battery just sits underneath the car. Yeah, I'm gonna show you in here. The battery sits underneath here, and actually I'll give you a good visual after we show you the front. The battery is all underneath the car, and I'll show you after I show you the front, so you get a better idea of where it's located. It yeah, so we come over here. Again, yeah, you have to open the front from the, the application. So I'll come over here, and let's look for controls. Let's do front. Uh, all right, so are you sure you want to do it? Yep, there you go, popped it open. And here is our spacious, or not so spacious, frunk. <laughs> now this item over here that it comes with is like to help tow, or, or if, if your battery dies, you just hook that on. So you have extra room if your trunk's full, you got a little extra room up front. Nothing crazy, Nothing crazy there, but I told you I'd show you the battery. Let's go back inside the car and check out the battery. All right, so to check out the battery, just come over here and you go to Two. charging. And then here is you can actually see the battery. That's how the car charges. And over here you have your different rotor systems. That looks like an engine. Yeah, they're, they're, they are engines. They're, they're battery engines. So that's how everything operates. And a big thing that I'll point out kind of looking in here, the car uses regenerative braking, so you don't actually have to use your brake that often, and it actually helps save you money on changing brakes. So this system in here will actually start spinning in reverse to slow the car down, and it actually recharges the battery, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Over here you can look at your car features, you can open your trunk, you can open your charging port, which is pretty cool, I'll show you how that's done. And, uh, and yeah guys, there's so many things to go over in the car, I can't do it all in this video, so feel free to ask questions, so maybe I can do a summary in another you know, few months on more things that I've learned about the car. Something cool too, so Tesla and some of its other features, it uses a lot of magnets. So if I push on here and open that, it'll open up, but it doesn't click back. You just have to gently put it back and then it'll stay. So watch this, so if I try to just click it in, it'll come back. If I click it in, I have to just use the magnet, simple. So let's go look at the charging port next. The charging port is located behind this light and you have to actually use your phone or the inside screen to open it And it's just a virtual way of doing it. So I'll show you here So you go to open charge port Bada bing and then that's where you plug in it your Tesla. Blue. Yeah, when you plug in the car that'll change colors and you're good to go and, and Same thing when you're done you come over here close charge port and boom. All right guys, so we're gonna give Miles the last word. Miles, why don't you tell everyone what are your favorite things about the Tesla and if do you think someone should go out and buy a Tesla? Tell us. Okay, I like the racing game. 
He likes the racing game. Do you think other people should buy Teslas? Yeah. Cool, cool. Who builds Teslas? Um, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> he asked me who built Teslas. That's all. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I post videos every single week here on YouTube, and I appreciate the support. And until next time. Thank <laughs> you.